so today's video is going to be a review and a demo of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Today's film. Can you tell I'm trying to like channel my inner John McClane? It's because I've been so tongue-tied lately because I am strugs and really out of practice that I don't know. He's like he's just like goals AF to me right now. Anyway, so I have been hearing a lot about this foundation over the past year or so. I think it's been about a year. I'm literally, as usual, probably one of the last people that showed up to this party, but better late than never. Um, I just couldn't commit to purchasing the foundation without being able to swatch it. And when I went to Sephora the other day, they actually had the Huda Beauty foundation, the concealer and the powder. I got all three. I will do a separate video on the concealer and the powder as I felt like when you have too many new complexion products at one time, if something is off, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to pinpoint exactly which one it is. Anyway, before we get started, make sure you are subscribed if you are not. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you haven't done that either because it is the best way to stay up to date with me and all of my uploads. Check the damn bar for links to all my social media platforms and let's just get started. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and loaded, loaded my skin up with moisturizing agents today because I'm very nervous about how this is going to act on top of my skin. As you know from the title and from the intro, we are reviewing and demoing the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I have kind of a long day ahead of me, not to give you background on the actual like behavior of my skin. I'm typically in the normal to combo area. I do get very oily here in my forehead. The rest of my skin can be pretty normal it just kind of depends. I typically do have to set with a powder. I'm not one of those girls who can get away without using it. I don't like to emphasize texture on my skin. And to be honest, I'm not really crazy about this whole full coverage thing. I don't mind achieving a full coverage finish with layers of products, but like the makeup equivalent of whiteout, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. So let's just get started. So this is the box it comes in and mine is in the color toasted coconut. I don't know if this color is going to work. It could be too light. It could be too dark. I didn't think to get two bottles. I don't know why. The instructions say to use a pump or less. Um, if this ends up being too light or too dark, I will fix it either with concealer or bronzer, you know, depending on my situation. This is the size of one pump. There's makeup all over the back of my hand because I went to Ulta this um, afternoon. It definitely has a fragrance to it, which I read about a lot on Sephora and other review sites. So I'm just going to dot. Oh, it's probably going to be too light. <laughs> uh oh. Maybe when I blend it out, it won't be that way. I'm going to dot a little bit of it on the side of my face and blend that out. It's really fragrant. This feels like it's burning a little bit. I took a few dots of this pump because that's what the instructions said to do and just kind of dotted it over my skin as you saw and I can still see this scar I have right here. It's like a really intense acne scar. So I'm just going to put a few more dots. I don't know if it's a fair assessment to say that you could get your whole face covered using a pump or less. Now that would depend very much so on your skin. Like first impression is this kind of feels like it's burning my skin a little bit. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. It feels like it's cooling. Maybe it's not burning, maybe it's like cooling my skin. I don't know. There's a sensation happening. So off the bat, the biggest thing I'm noticing with this is truly the fragrance. It smells like a really strong perfume, like very fragrant. Sometimes when I read reviews and I see people comment about the fragrance of a product, I take it with a grain of salt because very seldom do I have the same kind of experience. I'm not particularly sensitive to fragrance. And it's not causing me, I mean, I don't know yet if it's causing me irritation. We'll find out tomorrow if I have like a massive breakout from this, but it's not like making my eyes burn or putting me off. It's just very noticeable. Okay, that is one pump all over my skin. The finish is much more natural than I expected. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a chalkboard matte situation. Um, on camera, this might look too light. 
it doesn't really look super light compared to my body. When I first spray tan, because I exfoliate my skin so regularly, it's like the spray tan like really adheres to my skin. So my natural complexion color will tend to be dark. And then any foundation I have that I put on top of it initially before blending it out will look too light. Thus far, I can't say because I got to apply one more pump. I'm wondering if they put that one pump or less thing on the bottle to discourage you from using too much. But on my complexion and with my acne scarring, I'm going to have to go in with more than one. But I'm going to just go ahead and put one more pump on the back of my hand. Once again, dotting it and then blending it. So now we'll see if it's one of those foundations you can layer at all. I don't believe foundation is meant to make your skin flawless. It's meant to even out the tone of your skin. I usually feel like people use way too much foundation, but since the whole draw of this foundation is supposed to be how full coverage it is, I really wanted to see how that kind of plays itself out once it's practically applied. I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just press this all over the skin to absorb any excess product and make sure it's nicely blended. This is the result of one and a half pumps, so I do think it's very pigmented, although like I said, you can still see this scar right here on my cheek. So I'm gonna try to cover that up just a little more. So it's a little better than I thought it would be. I can tell you that I definitely feel it on the skin. It's not lightweight. Um, definitely not the cakiest, heaviest thing I've ever felt, but I can feel it. Move on to the rest of my complexion to see how it works with my complexion products. Sometimes I find that there are foundations in the past I've used that seem okay until I try to use other things with them. I did purchase the Huda Beauty concealer and the powder, but I'm gonna wait to do those separately. I didn't wanna put too much new stuff on top of each other. I'm gonna take the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick just to quickly contour my skin. I'm gonna blend it out using the JH08 brush. So this particular foundation actually did play really well with my cream contour. I've definitely used foundations in the past that made it almost impossible to blend the cream contour out or they kind of clung on to it pretty heavy. So I didn't experience that, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eyes using my NARS Soft Matte Cream Concealer. Mine is in the color Custard. I'm gonna blend this out. So I can still see some breakout scars peeking through this. I don't really feel like that's a big deal personally because I, as I said before, I don't like to use foundation as like a one-stop shop for like perfecting the skin. I just think that it's just too heavy. I don't enjoy it. So I'm 90% sure you could build this up to a full-blown impenetrable force of foundation, but I just didn't want to keep adding anything to it, to be honest. I'm going to clean up my contour and highlight the center of my face using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I'm going to set my under eyes in the center of my face using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. If any of these products pique your fancy whatsoever, this would probably be one of them that I would more uh, entice you into buying because I just feel like it is a standalone amazing powder. I have friends who come over or, and do their makeup and stuff and play with my makeup and almost every time someone sees this or touches it and they've never heard of it or seen it before, they're just like, oh my gosh, that is the softest powder I've ever heard of. And I'm like, I know, right? I'm gonna set the rest of my face using my Hourglass. This is called the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Mm -hmm. 
It still does feel very soft, very smooth. It's not feeling especially cakey. It doesn't look cakey in person. It looks very um, covered up, but I don't think it's like something, it's not to the degree that I thought it would be initially because I really expected to hate it, but so far I don't. So I'm gonna mix bronzers today. I'm really just trying to make this as extra as humanly possible. I'm gonna mix the Patrick Star and MAC bronzer with my Hourglass bronzer. I like this color, I like this finish. In my mind, mixing them together is gonna be a match made in heaven. Oh, my skin looks pretty flawless but natural which is the thing about this product I was prepared not to like I thought I was gonna really hate the finish and the feeling of it so far it's pretty decent it's 214 right now all right I'm going to turn this part of this video off to start filming my other video and then I'll be right back okay you guys I have just completed my entire face of makeup off camera I applied my blush I didn't include that in the application process of this video as far as my complexion is concerned because the blush ties into a video I'm doing also, different video, different thing. Um, I also have my highlighter on and a setting spray. Right now, my skin looks pretty amazing. You can still see, like I said, some of the pigmentation here on my forehead through the foundation like just a little bit but that really doesn't bother me it's nothing that like I'm gonna dismiss this foundation over completely now the one thing so far that is still kind of surprising me about this and I I really don't know I don't know how this is all gonna play out like the fragrance of this I can smell it on my face I feel like if anyone got too close to me they'd be able to smell it as well um, it's not bothering me but the nature of the fragrance I would say is like very cheap, kind of like cheap perfume, I'm sorry. So right now, I've had this on for about an hour. I don't have my phone in front of me, but I do have my iPad, and according to my iPad, it is 3.41. I need to leave for the airport at 4.30, so I'm actually ahead of schedule. It's rather incredible. Um, I will have this on, by the time I take it off, I would say it's gonna be about a good seven or eight hours, so I will come back and let you know how it worked out. It feels comfortable right now. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of movement happening my products blended very well to it i think it's very nice so far much nicer than i expected so i will see you guys in a few hours this is 9 14 so i've had this on for about seven hours um i went to the airport i went to dinner it was raining outside it was pretty warm everywhere that i went so I did experience a little bit of like oil kind of building up here on my forehead. It's nothing super crazy different than what I experienced with any normal foundation. This foundation did not crack. Overall, it stayed put really well. It didn't really oxidize on me at all. So I have to say that maybe I have to eat some humble, humble pie. I might have to eat some humble pie and say that this ended up being much, much better than I expected. Now this is still technically a first impressions, but wake up tomorrow with a face full of zits over this. Like I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to the company. Just kidding, I won't actually do that, but I will keep you posted if it breaks me out or makes me sensitive. So all in all, as of today, for now, I would give this foundation a good four out of five, but I'm gonna take, I would actually take a point and a half off just for the fragrance, because even as I was leaving the house, I could still smell the fragrance of this on, in my area, like, it's so strong. And it's not a good smell at all. Like, it smells like cheap perfume. I really don't like it. So, I'll say three and a half out of five, because it is that strong that a point and a half has to come off of it for the fragrance. Other than that, I don't have any problems with this. Stay tuned for favorites videos and updates on this foundation and I will let you guys know like on Instagram or something like that, like that. I'm tired, okay? It's been a long day. Um, I'll let you know on Instagram or something like that if I do experience any sensitivity to it. So, hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!